Ed's taking the pictures. Just keeping it at a safe distance. It's just circling around us in the landing pad. See how it turns out once it's completed its processes. Halfway there. Let's see if that's enough. Actually, just let it keep going. Anyone in the comments box can tell me how these um, hyperlapse functions work a little bit better. Let me know. Getting there, I think it's doing its thing. Shooting is nearing completion. Okay, still going. Try to read up on this a little bit better to get a better idea of. Um, how uh, this hyperlapse function works a little bit better. Okay, we're at 70, we got five more, four more. All right. Looks like it's complete. Video synthesis completed. All right. Good job. Let's bring the gimbal up. Okay. Let's go there and turn her over this way a little bit. And then we're gonna bring her up just a little. Safe distance. Keeping everything under 400 because we're getting a lot of aircrafts that ADSB has picked up. And I can see them clearly, so there we go. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and hit start. I'm just doing this freely. It's going awfully slow because we're doing the uh, hyperlapse. Also has a countdown timer there on the left, which is good. Just flying her straight out. Maybe pick up some of those cars on the hyperlapse. Okay, it will move a little bit on its own real slow. I'm just gonna let the timer do its thing. And when that's done, we'll fly her on back. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit all notifications to be informed on the latest and greatest new drones. And I appreciate you all. Uh, you all are important. You don't need to be told that. You already know it. You're like family. So go ahead and join the channel and join the family. 
Okay, we're just getting these pictures in. Rotate the gimbal just a little bit. I want to get some more of these cars. I think that would look cool in the hyperlapse. Get some of those clouds too, they're moving around on us. Alrighty, now it's creating the video. I will share this on my channel too. So. Alright, let's go ahead and how much battery do we have? 52%. Let's go back into the regular functions. So I'm going to go back to quick shot. So let's go ahead and fly her out this way just a little bit. Oh, we still got a little bit of battery left. Maybe get a circle around that water tower that I always talk about. Let's keep going. Stop kind of off to the side of it. We're still uh, doing the phone recording so you guys can see that. Might raise up the altitude just a little bit. Let's do 350. There we go, 354 looks good to me. Here another airplane, maybe that'll pick up ADSB again, but it's nowhere near us. And I check out my first part of the video to see ADSB in action, even in the beginning of this video, which I think that's a really cool thing. That's really neat to have that on your drone this is the only DJI drone on the market so far but most of the newer ones will have it so we're approaching that water tower and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to circle on the quick shot let's go ahead and stop right there let's do circle Actually, hold on a second. I don't know if it'll pick that up yet. Let's go closer. Let's see if it picks that up. Nope, we don't want that. Maybe we're still too far out from it. Let's see. Let's bring it down just a little bit. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can get that circle. And it won't pick that up for some reason. That's weird. Well. Let's go ahead and try something else. Let's go back to video. Let's do this around that. And skip that, close that, hit that. Hit go. That's locked in on that water tower.
That's ADSB kicking in. It's telling us that there is a manned aircraft, but it's not near where my drone is, so we're good. And we're just doing a manual circle around the water tower. I think because of the size of it, it's going to give me an issue trying to um, get it on there. So I'm just going to do that. We're still doing the phone recording. Trying to conserve a little bit of battery. Let's go ahead and hit stop now. Now let's go ahead and hit the uh, return to home. Actually, let's see. Actually, let me get out of this way first. All right. Now let's hit the return to home and see if she lands on that landing pad. That's me doing that. It would have kicked in automatically if I would have kept going. But let's see where she is on the map here. She's getting back to us. Fan button. Let's drop that gimbal down. Looks like there's an accident there on the road. Wow. That's not good. Definitely going to take the other way home. Kind of scary. I hope everyone is okay. Bring that gimbal up and she's coming back to us. 31% battery. And uh, once again, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit all notifications to be informed on the latest and greatest new drones. And remember, on my channel, you're like family. We don't have to holler and scream to get intention. We just put out good content. And um, we get the views and the subscriptions. So thank you all again, the YouTube community and everybody else that has really stepped up and helped my channel out through the past nine months. It really means a lot to me. So thank you all again. So she's coming back on a 28% battery. It's like we got 18 satellites and we're just flying her on back folks to the home point and let's hope she can uh, get us close to that landing pad sometimes it's hit or miss on this drone but sometimes I get lucky so let's see how close we get She's coming in, folks. 22 miles per hour. Dropping that gimbal down manually. Bring her up and bring her straight down again. I have my function, the FN button set to reverting the camera up and down. So if you were interested in knowing how I did that so quickly. So here we are, folks. We're coming in hot. Just going to circle around our landing pad right there in the middle of the screen. And now she's coming on down. 23% battery. So thank you all again for watching. Stay tuned for the next videos coming out.